All right, Coridon. Time to get this other Coridon. You going down? Oh, I'm surprised you're actually alive. Human presence detected within the zero lab. Did you go back in time to give yourself like multiple things, multiple people to work with? Sheesh, you do not look well. Deactivating sleep mode. What the? Hello, Lizzie. Thank you for coming. Rawr! No. Back to your ball. Oh. Well, that was easy. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Coridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. Or fled Area Zero. I guess. I'm afraid that there's something for which I must apologize. I'm not the true Professor Sada. Then who are you? I'm an artificial intelligence the Professor created imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I'm an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. Passed away? The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for the Coridon to survive and thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Coridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel, and asked you to be put and asked to be put into contact with you. I was never more than an AI. Lizzie, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Hmm. Well, that's kind of sad. But did I call it or did I call it? Booster energy. Well, anyway, I'm ready. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Still not entirely convinced she's not going to turn around and kill us, but, you know. Maybe that's just uh, some bias against AI. Lizzie, it is truly a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? What is this time machine? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When she was alive, Professor Sada had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, what you might call ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw ancient Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is an AI, really? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The result of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are slowly, they're also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the usual professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, her physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. 
I'm afraid that, is, that this fact may be difficult for her son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a primal energy of the ancient, ancient past. And this energy has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this modern age. The, the original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet... I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Lizzie, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Sada once cherished. But Karadon's so cool. <laughs> Besides, why should I take orders over, you know, you, some robot, when even in death, the original held on to this dream? Nah. This task cannot be done without your strength. Please, I beg you. We have reached the lowest level. Oh, wow. Very crystally. Behold, this is a time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. All right, then. What now? To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Scarlet Book. It is very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. She have that volume since childhood. If you place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There's just one issue. If you try to stop the time machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Scarred Book upon the pedestal. Uh, before we do this, I would like to give Preserker a better item. Uh, specifically, what's the thing we just got? This booster energy. Seems more useful. I don't really know what it does, but it seems alright. Okay. Well then, an end to time travel then. ID confirmed, Professor Sada. Access granted. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. It is up to you now, Lizzie. 
AI started switching to sleep mode, activating offensive protocols. Well then, please defeat me. Ooh. At, at last. At last my dream is within reach. And now you're uh, it's getting in the way. AI Sada has initiated a battle. What? A Slitherwing? The heck is this thing? I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Level 66? Okay, no joke then. Hmm. Let's flower trick you. It's always done well for us. Not very effective. Effective enough though. What? Some sort of error has occurred here. We calculating for critical damage. Oh my! What? Do you imagine you can beat the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? This is the power of the ancient past holds. Splendid, isn't it? You look fairy type. We're putting out Berserker. Ironhead. There we go. And once more. Nice. Okay. A brute bonnet. Honestly, you're probably fine for this. Keep. We'll start with a heal. In theory, I think steel is... Uh... Because you're, like, probably grass poison, I think steel is good against grass and poison. Earth power. That I didn't anticipate. Let's revive. We'll max revive Miascarada. Okay, Earth Power, though. I feel like Miascarada is the only one who can withstand that. Unless we put in Raichu and go into Fly mode. We'll play rough. Oh, hey, don't you sucker punch me. Now, this is interesting, child. Do you actually understand ancient Pokemon's weaknesses? What is this? Grass Dark. Ah, I see. You gotta have a weapon for the mirror match. A scream tail. Let's we'll have to ride you for scream tail. I think Miascard probably could handle scream tail, but I think Raichu is actually better suited. So what? What even are you? Fairy psychic. Well, Iron Tail, yeah. Is 
by Ruff? Okay, fine. Ooh, Raichu's attack fell, but you're defense fell, so I think it should be a wash. There we go. A Sandy Shocks. I mean, Sandy, that's gotta be... I think you gotta switch to Miyazakarada for this. Is it ground? What the? I've never fought this before. And you'll probably steal something. Play rough would probably work all right against you. Power gem. Okay. How, how about a night slash? Oh, so close, so close. One more hit. A Fluttermane. I think this might actually be a switch situation. Because Flutter is going to either be Fairy type or Flying type. Raichu is good against both. Oh, these things. Hi. What are you, technically? Ghost Fairy. Interesting. Let's Iron Tail you. Shadow Ball. That was quite effective. Yeah, avoided the attack. How dare you. All right, let's max potion on Raichu. Not the most impressive move. Come on, let's actually connect with this one, please. Since when do you go first? There we go. Last one, a Roaring Moon. I don't really know what that's going to be, but we'll switch to Miascarada because Miascarada is stronger all around, generally speaking. We're going to have to heal first round regardless. Everything is proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. Roaring Moon. Oh, dragon. Sweet. Protosynthesis? Yeah, maybe we just go straight into the attack. Let's try it. Drats. I was hoping Yaskarad would go first. <laughs> Oops. Alright, Raichu's going in then. First order of business, uh, let's full max revive uh, Miascarada. Earthquake? Ow. Alright, Miascarada, you're in. Hopefully, you don't get one hit. First order of business, in case you do get run one hit, we're gonna revive. 
Raichu. Okay. Alright. Now we heal, I guess. Hyper Potion works. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be waiting for a miss, aren't we? Okay. You'll run out of PP eventually on that Dragon Claw. Yeah, so annoying. Okay. So we're in a bit of a holding pattern here. We've got to find a way to actually start being able to attack. What we can do is we could just straight up. St well, we can't really. Not sure if terrestrializing would make us any stronger against that particular move. And here's an idea we revive, then we end up going in as another Pokemon that just gets like one shot. But we revive Meowskarada. Meowskarada comes back full health, gets at least one attack. I think we can work it this way. Okay, so we're going to revive our Berserker. Great. That's fine. Expected this. Now we put Berserker in. We use your turn to max revive Meowskarada. Okay, that was anticipated. And knowing that's two thirds of my Pokemon, this guy has a super effective move for. Now we bring Meowskarada back in. We. Uh, Terror Slides and play rough. I don't know if Flower Trick would get the boost, and it would be critical. But this thing's almost certainly a dragon, right? So Fairy Type should be strong against it. We'll start with a play rough and see how it goes. Hopefully this is the right call. The alternate call would have been to terrorize Raichu to get it to be flying and hopefully not to be as vulnerable. You avoid the attack, what? Any chance we can hit first on anything? Maybe with Leaf Storm? Your flat trick always hits. How many uses of Dragon Claw do you have? Okay, we gotta write you now. Okay. And we gotta revive. Running out of max revives. Uh, use it on Meowskarada. That was an earthquake. Welcome back, Mascarada. Alright, we'll use your two turns out here to do normal revives on the other two. The next time you're up, we'll actually try attacking. How about that? 
I'm so glad we have all these revives. Oh, jeez. Okay. My Pokemon are not happy about this, I assume. Let's get Berserker out there. Berserker, your job will be to max revive Masquerada. Okay, we're only at four max revives now. I guess we'll be down to three after this. And after the rest of the team was honestly not that tough. <laughs> Okay. Masquerade. We're going with, the. Uh... We'll go with the flower trick. It never misses. Not very effective, eh? Okay. Now what we gotta do, we use our turn to revive... Berserker. Prepare for doom. We get Berserker out there. Welcome back, Berserker. <laughs> Use a max revive. How many of these do we have left? Three. Okay. Assuming there's no crazy tricks after this guy, which I think this is our last Pokemon. What is a leaf storm? 90 accuracy. I know what are the odds play rough if it misses again, right? So glad that crit hit wasn't enough. Just as calculated, a critical hit to your Pokemon. It's time. You simply gave up, child. There we go! Okay. That was your last one, right? You defeated us, AI Sada. The impossible. Lizzie! What is this? Did you already beat the, all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? So thank you for everything. The time machine has finally... She has finally been stopped. You're really not my mom, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my. Sorry you were alone so long, are you? Mom. Security system failure, security system failure. Threat to time machine detect, threat to time machine detected. What, what, what's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. What, do we have another battle? I don't have time to do another battle. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What, what, what's keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Sada's ID. Wait, what? Program initializing, gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. 
This is too much for you. You must run! AI saw it disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol initialized. Ah, no, I used like all of my everything. You are not getting in my way. You are challenged by AI sat by Paradise Protection Protocol. Oh, you sent out a cry on. Um, yeah, it's not working. Um. Um. You can't battle with that bug one on the field. It's true, our bug walls won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Run! Running away would put everyone else in danger. God, some crazy electrical signals jamming our poke walls. Even I can't get them open. That's totally cheating, and you call yourself an adult. Anything in the bag that's useful? No, not really. Is there something here? No. Uh -huh. Can't battle with that Pokemon on the field. Can't you? Pokemon's are locked. You can't switch Pokemon. Get out of here. What, what, what am I supposed to do? And obviously, like, we gotta get Karidon out, right? But how? That Karidon. Let's go. You were there all this time! Why'd I never try this? Come on, Karidon. Yeah. All right, it's battle time. Gra -gra. Sunlight turned harsh. The person cried and turned the sunlight. Hmm. Okay, we got a frenzy. All right, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> 